class 12th chemistry hello alkanes and hello arenes and in this video we will discuss about physical properties and nucleophilic substitution reactions first come to physical properties melting and boiling points boiling points of hello alkanes are higher than those of the hydrocarbons of comparable molecular mass now what is the reason due to greater polarity it is hello alkanes are more polar compared to the hydrocarbons high molecular mass again molecular mass of hello alkanes greater than hydrocarbons the intermolecular forces of attraction that is di dipole dipole and van der waals are stronger in hello alkanes that's why boiling point of hello alkanes are greater than the hydrocarbons of comparable molecular mass as the number of carbon atoms increases boiling point increases why as the number of carbon atoms increases surface area increases and molecular mass increases that's why there is increase in van der waal forces of attraction for the same alkyl group the boiling points of alkyl halide decreases in this order that is alkyl iodides has highest boiling point and alkyl fluoride has lowest boiling point again same reason if we go from this to this side molecular mass decreases surface area decreases that's why magnitude of van der waal forces is also decreases okay the boiling points of isomeric alkanes it is having the same number of carbon atoms and then same molecular mass okay the boiling points of isomeric alkanes decrease with increase in branching what happens when branching is increased increase in branching decreases surface area and hence magnitude of van der waal forces you can see this is 1 2 3 4 that is this is one bromobutane okay and this one is two bromobutane and this one is 2 bromo 2 methyl 2 2 dimethyl propane okay if you go from this side to this side branching is increases surface area decreases that's why boiling point is also decreases okay boiling points of isomeric dihalobenzene okay are very nearly the same but melting points of para isomers are high as compared to their ortho and meta isomers. It is due to symmetry of para isomers that fits in crystal that is better as compared to ortho and meta isomers. You can see from this data, this is dichlorobenzene. Okay, this one is ortho isomer, this is meta isomer, and this is para isomer. Boiling points are almost same. Okay, but melting point, you can say this for para isomer, melting point is very high. Okay, because this is more symmetrical, fits very well in crystal lattice. Density Bromo, iodo, and polychloro derivatives of hydrocarbons are heavier than water. The density increases with increase in number of carbon atoms, halogen atoms and atomic mass of the halogen atoms solubility the halo alkanes are very slightly soluble in water now what is the reason actually halo alkanes are also polar water have hydrogen water molecules are associated by hydrogen bonds okay to dissolve this hydrogen bond between water molecules should be broken down okay but due to the less polarity of hello alkanes hydrogen bonds between water molecules are not broken down properly that's why their solubility is less in water okay hello alkanes are less polar and there are hydrogen bonds between water molecules which are not properly broken down by these hello alkanes However, hello alkanes are readily soluble in organic solvents. As we can say, that is like dissolves like. These are the organic compounds. That's why readily soluble in organic solvents. 
there is one question arrange each set of compounds in order of increasing boiling points these are the compounds bromomethane bromoform chloromethane dibromomethane dear student if you are not comfortable from these names you can write their formula like bromomethane okay what is the formula bromomethane that is this is ch3br okay what is bromoform bromoform this is chbr3 and chloromethane this is ch3 cl and dibromomethane that is ch2 br2 now it is easy to write the answer that is this number of carbon atom is same in all the compounds then we have to compare only the halogen atoms this cl that's why this is chloromethane lowest boiling point now in all other compounds bromine atoms are present but in this case bromomethane only one br in this three and this is two br atoms are there that's why the increasing order is bromomethane dibromomethane and bromoform as the molecular mass increases boiling point increases okay one chloropropane isopropyl chloride and one chlorobutane again you can write the structure one chloropropane that is this is ch3 this is ch2 ch2 and cl okay isopropyl chloride this is ch3 this is ch this is cl ch3 isopropyl chloride and one chlorobutane this is ch3 ch2 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 and cl now compare the number of carbon atoms and halogen atoms A halogen atom is same chlorine but if we compare this three carbon atoms this is also three carbon atoms that's why we can say both are isomers of each other and this isopropyl chloride has branching that's why its boiling point is lowest after that one chloropropane and this definitely one chlorobutane has more number of carbon atom that's why its boiling point is highest among these three okay chemical reactions okay reactions of haloarenes reactions of haloarenes may be divided into the following categories nucleophilic substitution reaction elimination reactions and reaction with metals in this video we will discuss only about nucleophilic substitution reactions as we know nucleophiles means nucleus loving okay nucleus loving means electron rich species therefore they attack at that part of the substrate molecule which is electron deficient and we already discussed the nature of carbon halogen bond carbon acquires the partial positive charge okay that's why nucleophile will attack on that carbon the reaction in which a nucleophile replaces already existing nucleophile in a molecule is called nucleophilic substitution reaction this is nucleophile and this is haloalkane this will attack to this and replace this one that's why we will get this product substitution reaction is initiated by a nucleophile that's why it is called nucleophilic substitution reaction now you can see these are the nucleophilic substitution of alkyl halide that is rx rx nucleophile and this will convert into r n u plus x now just see this is r c l this when react with the NUH and in this NUH should be aqueous NUH or KO should be aqueous nucleophile will in this reagent nucleophile is OH minus CL is replaced by OH and we will get ROH that is alcohol in the same way water in this case this oxygen which have a lone pair of electron acts as a nucleophilic center okay and this will attack on uh, carbon of the alkyl group and we will get ROH again alcohol that is NaOR sodium alkoxide in this case this alkoxide ion is a nucleophile and we will get this is ROR dash where R and R dash 
these are the alkyl groups they may be same or they may be different and this class of compound is known as ether and ai in this case this iodide ion is nucleophile okay this if you remember this reaction we already discussed in the finkelstein reaction that, that is used for the preparation of nai uh, sorry preparation of ri okay and in this case cl is replaced by i and we will get alkyl iodide nh3 in this case this nitrogen will act as a nucleophilic center and we will get r nh2 primary amines so this cl and h one h from this hydrogen will remove as a hcl and product is r nh2 kcn okay in this case this carbon this carbon will attack and we will get rcn this is known as nitrile or cyanide but if we take the agcn okay now in this case agcn this nitrogen will act as a nucleo nucleophile and we will get rnc isonitrile or isocyanide now this note down this variation okay in case of kcn actually this is ionic compound okay k plus and cn minus ion will separate in the aqua solution or in the medium and a take can be taking place either through carbon or through nitrogen but carbon carbon bond is more stable that's why we will get nitrile but in case of agcn this is a covalent compound okay that's why this nitrogen will attack on the carbon of alkyl halide and we will get isocyanide kno2 now in this case this oxygen is attack on carbon of alkyl halide and we will get ro and double bond o and this is alkyl nitrite but if we take agno2 if we take agno2 product is rno2 that is nitro alkene again same reason we can say this is ionic compound but this is agno2 is covalent compound and this this oxygen will act as a nucleophilic center and in this case this nitrogen will act as a nucleophilic center rdcooag in this case this rcoo minus this is carboxylic group it this will act as a nucleophile and we will get the ester lithium aluminum hydride we will get rh hydrocarbon if we take this is rm that is metal alkyl okay then this r minus will act as a nucleophile and we will get higher alkene r r des okay these are the reactions nucleophilic substitution reaction of alkyl halides ambidentate nucleophile groups like cyanide and nitrites we already discussed the reaction of these two okay passes two nucleophilic centers and are called ambident nucleophiles okay actually cyanide group is a hybrid of two contributing structures and therefore can act as a nucleophile in two different ways this carbon may act and this nitrogen will act okay that is linking through carbon atom resulting in alkyl cyanide and through nitrogen atom leading to isocyanide similarly nitrite ion also represents an ambident nucleophile with two different points of linkage that is either it may be oxygen or it may be this nitrogen the link through oxygen results in alkyl nitrites while through nitrogen atom it leads to nitro alkanes now there is a one question hello alkanes react with kcn to form alkyl cyanides as main product while agcn forms isocyanides as the chief product explain kcn is predominantly ionic and provides cyanide ion in the solution although both in case of cyanide ion both carbon and nitrogen atoms are in position to donate electron pairs the attack takes place mainly through carbon atom and not through nitrogen atom since carbon carbon bond is more stable than carbon nitrogen bond okay however agcn is mainly covalent in nature and nitrogen is free to donate electron pair forming isocyanide as the main product 
these are the nucleophilic substitution reaction of hello alkanes thank you subscribe my channel in the next video we will discuss about the mechanism of nucleophilic substitution reactions